Here's your NBC 26 update. I'm Regina On. We Energies is warning customers about a spike in scam calls threatening to turn off your power. The caller tells customers their bill is overdue and asks them to purchase a prepaid debit card for hundreds of dollars to avoid having power shut off. One person has fallen victim to the scam. We Energy notes if a call sounds suspicious, simply just hang up. The Wisconsin Interagency Council on Homelessness is creating the state's first ever statewide plan to prevent and end homelessness. It comes exactly a year since the agency was created. The plan asks for $3.75 million in new state spending, which doubles the current investment in direct housing assistance for homeless individuals. And the highly anticipated Rockefeller Christmas tree lighting will be taking place tonight. The annual celebration has been broadcast live around the world since 1951. The special event will be hosted by anchors of the Today Show, and it will also feature a number of musical performances. You can watch the tree lighting ceremony starting at 7 p.m. right here on NBC26. Time for a check on weather now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron, how is it looking tonight? Regina, it's another chilly day across northeast Wisconsin, but at least we're seeing some sunshine for a change, which is pretty nice. But that sunshine really not helping the thermometer very much. High temps today have only been in the 20s to around 30 degrees. In fact, Green Bay is the warm spot for northeast Wisconsin. Everybody else is pretty much in the mid to upper 20s, even with that sunshine. But off to the west from North Dakota south into eastern Colorado and Kansas, it is much warmer. We've got 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, and that warmth is headed east. As it moves east, it's kicking off some light snow. That light snow will push in here later on tonight. It'll continue into Thursday, probably tapering off to flurries by the early afternoon. Most spots will pick up a dusting to around an inch or so. But with temperatures below freezing for the morning commute, I am anticipating some slippery conditions, so keep that in mind. High temperatures by the afternoon will be in the lower to mid-30s, which is warmer than today, but still below normal. For your latest news, sports, and weather, make sure you download the NBC26 News app. It's free. It's available in the App Store and on Google Play. Just search for WGBA. Have a great day.